Happy New Year, and I'm tempted to say good riddance because 2023 was a challenging year for real estate. And although 2022 may have been more volatile in terms of the movement in both the housing and the mortgage market, we can still look back on 2023 as a year of extremes. So let's get into your January market update. I wanna get you caught up on where we're at and have a look at the road ahead. Real estate success without the BS. For housing inventory, the statement a year of extremes holds very true. Uh, and it's supported by the economic data. And that was just released last week where pending home sales came out perfectly unchanged from November, but that keeps it at the lowest level of over 10 years. And that's not counting the 2020 lockdowns, of course. Um, and it's a similar story for interest rates. 2022 had the largest change in mortgage, rate, uh, mortgage rates in a single year since the early 80s, but 2023 took the outright levels even higher, where we reached over 8% for a time in the second half of the year. But on a hopeful note, 2023 may end up being remembered not just for the extremes, but also for being the start of potential shift in rates and housing metrics. Because by the end of 2023, mortgage rates nearly made it back to levels that we saw at the end of 2022. And today we're sitting around 6.75% for your average 30 year fixed rate mortgage. Uh, and the Fed has hinted that they're not just gonna stop interest rate hikes, but they've also suggested the idea of moving forward with cuts. But of course the Fed, you know, they always cover their ass and maintain that they're gonna need to see the data to justify any action. But luckily for us, economic data is coming out this first quarter of 2024, the first batch of which is gonna arrive this week with several reports coming out. But really Friday's jobs report is the most important one to keep an eye on, uh, especially if you're using interest rates as your excuse to stay out of the market. You're gonna to wanna to keep your eye on that, okay? <clears throat> Moving on to home prices. 2023 was notable. Uh, price indexes hit negative territory year over year um, at some times this year, but they officially rebounded and they finished the year up 4.5% nationwide on average. And that's great news for my homeowners out there. Uh, and it was impressive to me to see the ability of prices to really hold their ground in the face of interest rates hitting 20 year highs. Uh, and a lot of credit may go to a lack of inventory and low transactional account, but it will be interesting to see how the inventory situation gets impacted by lower interest rates and also therefore how prices will be impacted. But remember, that's if rates are able to continue moving lower. And that's a big and important if. Um, I've been recommending to my buyer friends and family that are on the fence, get pre-approved now and go over your finances to see exactly where your comfort zone is for purchase price and for monthly payment. <clears throat> You're gonna put yourself in an excellent position to strike hard and fast if rates move in a favorable, a favorable direction for yourself. Uh, and you'll know exactly what you can and can't do within your comfort zone, right? And I'm happy to talk with you more about it um, if you're looking to buy in this environment or you need to get put in touch with a great lender and you're ready to have that conversation, please let me know. Um, and if you're looking to sell in our area in general, you still have the real estate gods on your side for now, but it all depends on what your plans are. You know, do you need to sell in order to buy? Timing the move, avoiding pitfalls and doing everything possible to make sure that you put the most money in your pocket uh, and get you moved in the best amount of time for yourself and your family and make it as stress-free as possible, right? That is the name of the game. And luckily for you, it's the game I play every day. I'm happy to coach you through, you know, whatever you need to get you to the best results. So please don't be shy to reach out, okay? Enjoy the rest of the email. I look forward to seeing you guys in two weeks for the featured listings email. You know where to reach me if you need anything. Talk soon, friend.